Mind is everything. What you think, you become. This is a quote by the Buddha, a man who was very wise and studied the human nature of the mind, who was much about peace, love, and equality. Now, this speech is not about the Buddha, but about an African-American man who stands for the same principles, a man who was conscious of what was happening to our African-American people in this society. The man I'm speaking of is Francis Cecil Sumner, the first African-American man to earn his doctoral degree in psychology, who, who inspired others to achieve more in life, not just in school and other stuff like that. Francis Cecil Sumner was born in Pine Bluff, Arkansas on December 7th, 1895. After being in elementary school system in Virginia and New Jersey, his parents, David and Lillian Sumner, took him out of the school system so he can be self-educated. They would work extra hours to be able to buy him textbooks and other supplies to go along with his intense reading and writing tasks given to him by his dad, who was also self-educated. In 1911, at the age of 15, Sumner passed a written exam in order for him to be accepted into Lincoln University and graduated in 1915 with honors in English and other multiple languages such as Greek and Latin. He also had a degree in philosophy. Summer tried to continue his studies at Clark University. However, he put aside his studies to fight in World War I in 1918. He got discharged from the military in summer of 1919 to, receive, to return to Clark University. He received his PhD in psychology a year later. He later taught at multiple universities, including Wilbur First University, Southern University in Louisiana, West Virginia College Institute, and Howard University. See, Francis was very aware of the treatment of the African Americans at colleges and universities and HBCUs. So he resigned August 31st, 1928 from West Virginia. Sumner is credited along with Max Means and Frederick P. Watts with helping develop the first psychology department at Howard University. He encouraged philosophy to stay away from psychology and the School of Education. Sadly, on January 4th, 1954, while shoveling snow outside of his home in Washington, D.C., Sumner suffered a massive heart attack and died. He had a military honor guard ceremony at his burial at Arlington Ceremony in Virginia. Francis Cecil Sumner may have been also gone but not forgotten. The first African-American man to receive a PhD in psychology, challenging his students to work harder and striving for equality and justice between blacks and whites. He was a man who was conscious of the harsh reality people were going through back then, and if he was alive now, he still would see the struggle our people go through. Francis Cecil Sumner will always be there, and he will always be the father of black psychology and a brilliant scholar.